Good morning. So, uh, carrying on where I left off, um, a few days ago now, we are just adjusting the CSS for Snippet Pixie GUI um, to make it a little bit more conformant with the Nord uh, theme, as it's supposed to be, anyway. Uh, so, we've got to do here, I have, I've got as far as the input component. Um, I've done a bunch already in the base. Uh, lots of changes there. Um, fixing things up. Um, and we've basically moved to switching the uh, custom variables to end with color um, or background basically. Um, or I include text as well as appropriate just to make them a little bit more targeted to what their use is. Um, so let's get things up and running so we can start playing. Uh, we need a dev version here. Um, oh, that's a good point. Have I got... No, I haven't got the daemon up here. Let's... Hmm, before we do anything, because I've bounced it since... My last go, let's do that. Just do a make. Make sure everything's okay. I was playing with some new software the other day, so. It's funny how it always takes so much time the first time. There we go. There's no errors there, was there? Nope. Okay, I'm going to do a make a test as well. We're good. I right, should just have the input stuff. Yeah, button input label. Fine. Okay. Um, so that means in here I should be able to just bring up the daemon. And then I'll go back here and I'll just uh, do this here so I've got access to it. I'll do Wales dev. And hopefully it'll come up. I have to do more compiling, different version, different tags. And then we'll be back on track, hopefully, to get going again. Okay. Good stuff. Ooh. Right, well, that's different. That board is quite high contrast now, so I've obviously changed things there. So we'll have to, presumably, we'll get. To, oh, I know why. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that soon enough. Yeah. So let's give it a that. Oops, one back on there. Just reduce this down a little bit. Move it into the corner so we can keep track of what the changes are. So yeah, so the border on these is way too much and we've lost the border there as well. So things are obviously in play at the moment. Um, 
with uh, the CSS. So we'll have to make sure that these get fixed as I go along. Um, and we are in progress at the moment. Right, so we're on the input thing now, which is where this search comes into play. Um, also for things like these. So we've got that autofocus changes the border there. And um, we're also making sure that the background is going to be correct and things like that as well. Um, so let's double check. Right, we've got nothing above. So input background might need to change that. So we've got Nord one, which I believe is correct. Um, and then border color Nord three, which I think is okay. We'll see. Um, and then now we need to check Okay, color, input color. Now that's not correct. So this is the color of text. What have we got at the moment? primary text color and I don't think I need a separate input color I should be able to use the primary text color so let's get a shot of that And let's see what happens if we just get shot of this as well. I'll just comment it out for a second. Right, okay. So the buttons are going as well there. That might be something else. That's icon button. No. Okay, so is it purely on here? Right, okay, so I do need to be careful here. I do need to make sure that this picks up the color. Okay, so we'll put that back. primary text color and let's see what happens that's better okay uh, now the search icon needs a border now what did I call that again so we've switched to just border color Hmm. Actually, these are wrong, aren't they? I want any variable which is a color to end with color so that I can do things like border width and so on as well. I want them to stand out. So these, so that. Have I used that anywhere else yet?
just lower down. And then in a few places, input shortcut button. Okay, which we haven't got to yet. And then slightly lower down as well. Okay, let's see if um, this works. Yeah. Why did that not work? What did it? Let me double check that. It did. Okay. And this we're expecting one, two, three. Oops. Okay. Good there as well. Okay, and then we've got border color, and that's the basic. That's what we need to do now. So the search icon, the clear icon. And then on the focus, touch your text color. It's mm, not true, is it? They should actually just have the highlight color now. This is when you actually highlight them. Oops. Right, border color, when it's focused, should also be highlight color, I guess. And then if we have an error message, it should be the error color. Okay, this is so. This is where we're going to start seeing the changes here. The highlight is now a green. It's 
things are starting to change again now. Okay, um, so I think that's them done there. Switching them to more standard colors. Just making sure I've caught everything there. Input background color. Well, I should probably go check in here. Yeah. Oh, the text area isn't changing at the moment. Just the input. Oh yeah, because that's where I am. Okay. So I need to double check what's going on with the input uh, text area there. I don't have... another component that controls that, that is just a standard text area, so something in global was wrong. I'll have to go check that in a sec. Yeah, I think we're okay. We're using the highlight now. Highlight. Standard border colors on the edges of these, unless they are focused, in which case we switch out the border color to the highlight. And then if we have an error message, which won't be there, let's see. Um, I change that to Ribble. Yeah, we got that. So that's the uh, the error message underneath. That's fine. It's the same color as this. <clears throat> okay. So that's okay. Now let's check global. I must have missed something here. text area by default input background normal border color and primary text color ah focus secondary color no we should be using the highlight So it stands out. I could always change that to secondary at some point if I want. I'm not sure if I'm sold on that green. Okay. So save that and if I go to edit here. And go in here, that's green now as well. So they're both the same. That's a component, that's just a plain standard text area. Yes, at least they all match. Consistency is what we're going for. Alright, so the input is done. Right, so the list snippets itself. Hard to say sometimes. Uh, right, I've got no colors and things in there, so we're good. Uh, the main screen. No CSS in there. Uh, no connection notice, same. 
screen, nothing. Right, screen itself. No colors in there, just layout. All right, settings screen. Again, just layout. Shortcut button. Okay, so this is this is where we saw that things are wrong here. It's got the wrong colors. Um, so the border colors gone wrong. It's now this. There we go. So it's got a more subtle border color. Um, but what's going on? There. When it's highlighted. Hmm. Don't think it used to do that. I wonder where that's coming from. I think we'll have to look. Um, Let's do it over here, it's a bit easier, a bit more canvas. Um, right, let's move this over here so my face isn't in the way. I don't know if it is or not, but probably not. Uh, so I want to inspect this so we've got the background color on the selection ah oh. Color, input color. That's not right, is it? Okay. We just want a standard. Well, I wonder if I could just take that out. Maybe, maybe not. Right, okay, need it. Okay, so that should be okay now. All right, so we're getting there. Um, so that looks okay. We seem to be back. Everything's visible and correct there. The borders are okay. And we're good. Okay. Shortcut. So snippets list itself. There's no color overrides there. It's all just layout. Uh, but the items, 
All right, here we go. So focus and focused. These are wrong. So the color switches. This is this here. Now, have I got a setup for that? Can't remember. I guess I could just do background color again. And then we just do highlight color for the actual background, switch it over. So it should be color of the text is background color. And the selection color Hmm. So I've got two levels of focus here. We've got, as you see here, when it's not active, it's kind of like, a, at the moment, blue, a light blue. But as soon as we actually have focus in here, we want to show the the real deal. The cap is like this as well. So active or not. So when I come out of the search box into the list, you see the actual active. And then come out. So I think we do need to keep secondary here. And then color here needs to be background for the text still. But then we want highlight color. For the item that's selected and active. Yes, it's gone green again now. I do wonder whether I should use primary for that. We'll see. We'll live with it for a while and see what happens. Okay, everything else is layout. So we're good there. And then the welcome screen. Which has no CSS. Okay. So in theory, I should be able to get rid of this block without any issues. Let's see if we've got anything there. Uh, that's just itself. 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 So, again, same, same, same. Yep, so in theory, it's not in use anywhere. So I can get rid of all of that stuff. Move back to base Nord colors, and then our actual use tags. Now, let's see, we have background color it's been used in a bunch of places primary 
used in a bunch. Secondary not used. Hmm. Now I thought that was being used here on the cancel button. Secondary. Okay, right, right, right. I'm looking at secondary text color and I don't use that yet. That's correct. I am using secondary color though. Yeah, same with tertiary. I'm basically using the bright text color at the moment because I don't do a lot in the way of text stuff. Highlights used all over the place. At primary, a few places. Mainly the button. What's that one? Links. Okay. Okay, nothing's using tertiary yet. Got error in a few places. Danger. Okay, that's a setup, but we're not actually using it anyway. Pretty sure. Oh, I do need to test that. That's a good point. Yeah, I just thought that's the one thing I do need to fix. If I remember correctly, the notification's wrong. Uh, unless I fixed it. So I'm going to kill off the daemon. Yeah, so this should be using error rather than danger now. Um, so that was in screen. I can get there. No connection error. Class danger. I want it class error. That's better. You can't do anything. It's complete like you cannot do anything. So danger's not right. Let's do an add. Okay. Just testing everything works.
Not sure about this text color on the selection though. Kind of looks blue. I suppose it is a blue base. Is that right though? Let's get rid of some of these things. That's what I okay. This is where it is, I think. Yeah. It's a little bit clearer like that. I think we'll keep it. Okay. That's okay. The difference between the highlight and the primary isn't huge, but it's different color. Okay, I think we're done on the switching out the colors. We'll see how it goes. Let's see if I can live with it or not. I could always switch back. Um, I could always switch up the colors so that the primary is so the highlight goes back to a slightly different color or something like the tertiary or something because we're not using that. It's just that green is quite bright. The, the, the highlight is quite dark. And that's the reason why we have a highlight, which is so bright, so you can see what's going on. I do wonder whether this should just be primary, though, when it's selected. Let's double check what Nord's guide says. So, so for the green, the highlight one I'm using. Right, yeah. Used for UI elements that should, next to the primary accent color, which is Nord 8, this one, stand out and get more visual attention. In the context of syntax highlighting, it is used for classes, types, and primitives. Okay. Nord 8, which is the main sort of turquoise one. The bright and shiny primary accent color reminiscent of pure and clear ice used for primary UI elements with main usage purposes that require the most visual attention. 
Hmm. It does kind of make me think that in the context of the list, the selected list item, which is kind of making it an active button. Hmm, I might have switched that to that. And then Nord 9, more darkened and less saturated text resonant of Arctic ice waters. So it's this one here, my secondary at the moment. Used for secondary UI elements that also require more visual attention than other elements. In the context of syntax highlighting, it is used to language specific syntax, right? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then Nord 10, used for tertiary UI elements that require more visual attention than default elements. Okay. Let me think. So at the moment, when it's inactive, what have I got that set to? Uh, where are we going? Item. So that is background color for the color and secondary at the moment. But when it's active, it's highlight color. So what if I make it white gray? Yeah, and I should really have a highlight here because you can click on this. That would make it a highlight color. That's what I should do. So that you could highlight and get the green green. That's where I'm missing this kind of extra level because I could click now and be in a totally different one to what's got focus. <clears throat> Some missing interaction there. So let's do that. Um, So it's important, so it needs to go after these. And I think we should be able to do, um, just hover. And we'll just do background color. Because I think that's all that needs to change. Oops. Let me do that. Let's see. So when we're in here, yeah. Okay, we do need to set the text as well. That's not getting the color, that's not getting the focus there on hover. So we need to add that. I 
guess li active. Just a little bit more. Okay. That's better. And even when it's in there, yeah, it's still, you can tell which one's going to be clicked on if you want to do that. Okay, that's better. Buttons aren't getting a hover though. These do. So the little snippet screen. Although really, actually it should be the icon buttons, shouldn't it? Probably icon wrapper. Icon wrapper. Hover. Um, actually, maybe not. Oh, no, I do have to do it in there. I can't do it in the icon because that's imported. Okay, we'll do presumably color because it's an SVG. Kind of need to make it pop again as well. So regardless of whether it's been dimmed or not. Um, now, I think I'm doing that with just opacity. So we'll put it, we'll just put it back to one. There we go. That's better. Do wonder whether these should change when we've got a highlight on them, but for the moment it's okay. Well, these don't change. Maybe we should do something there. That's changed. That's good. Pop. Good. But these aren't really showing that they're links or anything. Oh good, the icon buttons there work as well. I 
Okay, but setting page needs a bit of work. So we've got icon buttons, they're doing the right thing. But these links are not Hmm. It's because they're not true links, they're just icon buttons. text. So really, is the slot that needs updating. Okay, let's um, I think what I need to do here I'm going to do a basic thing, I'm just going to Make them all targetable with the same class, I think. I will call it Did I just call it a link or something? Not really, but I mean, in theory, it's button, but I think that might have repercussions. No, I'm not happy with that. That's not the right way to do it. It should be in the bottom, but I'm not sure how to do that. Nearly out of time. But what I need to do is target the slots content. Pretty sure I've done this before. I have to be really careful though, because anything can go in there.
Hmm. Can I just do this? Set of icon wrapper. Will this get both? Okay. What about if I move this up just to put it where it should be? So my theory is that content which wraps the icon and the slot content, I might be able to get a hover on. There we go. Now that's still keeping its lost the opacity change. Um. So maybe I need to keep the passage change in there on the icon wrapper. Because that is actually been applied on a class there. Hmm. That's not happening there. Oh, now it is. Oh, okay. That's not. Hmm. Interestingly, I'm not even sure it should be. It's not dimmed, is it? Okay. Um, in that case. Uh, what do I need to do there then? Wrapper.
it's not right and the whole block I've run out of time unfortunately okay so let's put a to do here um Okay, fix entire block not get in capacity change. Let's see. Okay, that's something to work out later because that's not right. I should be able to go here. And the icon gets full opacity at the same time. It's not. Anyway, I've got to go. So let's get that's almost there. It's just that one last little thing. Um, it's interesting that it's not picking that up because that is inherent. Mm, okay. Okay, uh, until next time, thanks for watching and take care.